Hello, 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 good evening. Hello. Hello. How are you tonight, Carla? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm very happy. Oh, wow, me too. I won the lottery. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was just 50. You can see? It was just $50,000. It was not too much. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, I wish. No, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not. I haven't won the lottery. I, I will. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here. No, even if, if, if I won the lottery, I will still be here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why not? I love teaching. This is good. So what have you done on your weekend? What did you do? Hey, I go to the doctor. Uh, uh. <laughs> I went to the doctor. Uh, I in Saturday I visited my sister. Visited. Visited my sister. And uh, yesterday I was resting in my house. And I have to travel to San Miguel because I work in San Miguel. So you traveled yesterday on Sunday? Yes. Yes, because today I I worked I worked at eight a.m. Wait, you worked today from since eight a.m. Six no eight yes eight since since eight a.m. Okay eight a.m. M a m eight a <laughs> eight a.m. Okay again eight a.m. Eight a.m. Close close eight a.m. This is more difficult eight a.m. 8 a.m. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. 
I just finished a class with what? How many are they? Like twenty five uh, police officers. Be before your class, I have a group of twenty five police officers. The first class. <laughs> The first class I didn't remember. I, I didn't remember that it was all PNSA, you know. And when I turned, when I started the class, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I better, I better look, look fine, you know, because, you know. <laughs> and they, they were like. <laughs> I'm like, oh, crap. They're gonna take me to jail. Thank God I don't have the face of a gang member, right? No. Voy a ser gracioso ponerme algo en la frente, no sé. Ah, uh, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. Hey, what's up, uh, Nelson? How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Is it raining? No, no, teacher. Today, no. Is it hot? It's very hot. Are you in San Miguel? Near, I, I live in Zacate, Coluca, city. Holy, what is hotter? What is hotter? Zacate or San Miguel? San Miguel. San Miguel. San Miguel. And between Osulután and San Miguel? San Miguel. Yes. San Miguel, too. Wow. Wow. Hey. How's the uh, the waves? The waves on the at uh, the, uh, the sea in San Miguel, El Cuco. Yes. How are the waves? Is everything everything all right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just El Puerto with, you know, the waves, the big waves. Come on, you haven't watched the news about the big waves in El Puerto? Yes. Yes, yesterday the the raining. Uh, maybe I don't know how do you say all that. Waves. 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 Hey, by the way, it's uh -huh. the it's waves terrible. were the waves were terrible. The waves. Yes. Were terrible, really, in San Miguel. No, or, I don't know. No, you don't know? No. Come on. Do you live in San Miguel and you don't I go to El Cuco? I remember that in, in El Mahahual, what happened in the same situation too. In El Palmarcito. Yes. Yes, I lived in El Puerto like five years. In, I, in, in, in the, the Tunco Beach too. Yeah, it was terrible. I lived five years in El Puerto de la Libertad when, when, when we got married. I was white. I was very, very white. But now, um, see, this, this was me. This was me before El Puerto. After five years in El Puerto, I turned, I turned black, you know, like <laughs> brown. And oh my. it's too hot. It's just too hot. Yes. I was working in Honduras. In near to uh, frontera, near the sh the board, the board, near the board, and it's uh, very hot. It's uh, uh, mo um, hotter than San Miguel. Masca oh. How yeah, you, you got it. You got it. It's hotter than hotter, San Miguel. Hotter than San Miguel. It's, what, it is terrible. The, the hot. The heat. The heat is terrible. Yeah. Something is hot, okay? But the heat is on. The heat is so on. <laughs> so, the, the, <laughs> so, the heat is on. Okay. Hey, Hector. Teacher, hello, teacher. Good evening. <clears throat> How's everything going? I'm pretty tired because the traffic is awful. 
<laughs> the traffic is awful, awful, awful. Really? Awful. Do you travel every, every day? Awful. Uh, terrible. Mm -hmm. it's, it, perfect, perfect. A situation is awful. Awful. A, a person is mean or ugly. Right? Ugly, mm -hmm. physically. Physically ugly. Uh, uh -huh. In their character, a person is mean. It's mean. But Americans, you know, they change everything. And uh -huh. Some some bicha fresas, some like fancy girls. They you will hear you will hear them saying, You're an awful person. You are an awful person. For example. Mm -hmm. they, they they can use it's, that. It's just uh, uh, like a uh, heavy and fat. When the people is is uh, have a, a lot a lot um, oh between heavy body. and fat, <laughs> uh -huh. heavy is is for for people who like, have like me yeah. Uh, nah. I'm not <laughs> fat. I'm not fat, but I'm 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 big. You know, I'm I'm tall. Uh -huh. I'm tall and, and I'm like I'm one seventy four, one seventy four tall, and two hundred eighteen right now. So that, really? that yeah, that's like 30, 30 ish, 30 ish pounds. You go to the uh, gym? I you, used to I go used to the gym. To, I used to go to the gym, yes. Really? Mm. Eight -ish. No, I am a pig, a little pig. <laughs> <laughs> a little piggy. Okay. <laughs> ish. Ish. At what time do you wake up? I wake up at 4.50-ish. I can remember if it's one word or... No, it's separated. 4.50-ish. Ish. Ish. Divino ish, teacher? Ish. Más o menos. Es la so, so. Ish. 4.50-ish. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. That's right. Es, es yeah. alrededor de las, un poquito cerca de las, ok. Oh, ok, ok. Good, good, good. Choose the best option for you. Let me try something. I have a problem. I have a problem uh, the free day in the class. I cannot connect because I have a, I, I, I have a problem with my car. You had to, oh, with your car? Yes. I am a uh, um, mad <laughs> and, and and drive just on the wet wet or oh, flow flow on the fluid the fluid uh -huh. so uh, and the engine get wet got wet the engine got, got wet wet uh -huh. it <laughs> the, the engine the engine got fluted it got fluted no this is maybe no. maybe at some time sometime, sometime uh, wet uh -huh. No, it's... no, under, not under. Okay. It's, it's only, and I don't know, maybe the, the faja, la faja, no sé cómo se dirá en inglés. The belt. Ah, the high, it is sound very, very, it's, it's slided, slided. Uh -huh. It's deslizó, okay. The, the, the engine. Okay. And yeah, the... connect. Mm-hmm. So did it turn off? No, my dad said uh, when when the when the engine uh, get this problem, you need to uh, accelerate. You need to speed up. You speed up uh, for for free uh, the humidity. Oh, really? O sea, se la, la, yeah, yeah, la I humidity. know. I'm getting you. Continue, continue in English. I'm I'm following you. You're doing good. Yeah. Ah. So you speed and up. Then, uh huh. Uh huh. And, and you speed up the engine for to, to release, right? right? Huh? To release the to humidity. Dry. Uh huh. Es que no sé cómo se dice bujía. The dry, the oh, bujía. for the plugs. Mm -hmm. Plug. No, so, sorry, hold on. The sparks. No, it's just the plug. The plug. Plug is you can say pl ah, block. The spark block. plug. <laughs> spark plug. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And okay. maybe uh, ish ish. 
each to uh, eight eight and a half p.m. and when when I come to my house, very tired teacher. <laughs> I got you. Next. I understand. Don't worry, that happens. Okay. Uh, the engine. The engine engine belt slid. The past of sleeve. I'm having my doubts here. Yeah, that's the best. Okay. Sleeve. Slide it. Slide. Okay, the very slide. Slide. Slid. The past this slid. The spark plug is Bujias. Mm. I understand. Today I removed I've removed the whole suspension, the rear, the rear suspension mm -hmm. of my car. I've removed the whole rear suspension, the two tires. I just took it off. And I removed the, the fuel tank. Yeah, on Friday. Well, when was it? See, on Friday I removed the, the fuel tank. Okay. And today I removed the whole rear suspension because oh. my car my car is a one piece uh -huh, it's, a, uh -huh. it's a whole bar the two tires so i just removed it and i'm going to restore it then i'm going to restore the underneath the car and then put the fuel tank and put the the rear suspension again and that's it i'm, I'm working on it. Subaru. no it's a volkswagen golf from 1978 uh -huh. mm. mm -hmm. So I know. It's, it's one piece. It's, it's a lot. That's it's called the McPherson suspension. McPherson. McPherson suspension. It's a, that's a great invention. Okay. Yeah. Hey, nice talking. Um, oh, this sounds good. Okay. Now let's choose a color. I'm doing something at the same time as I'm working with you. Give me just a minute. Just a minute. There we go. Okay, let me do the attendance first. It's already 8, 18. That was a cheap chat. Adriana, good evening. Can you define cheap chat for the class? Can you define cheap chat for your classmates? Cheap chat. <laughs> think, think. Cheap chat. If I think uh, literally about the word, I think that is a, a chat without cost. <laughs> yeah, related, related. So cheap, inexpensive chat. What? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see somebody relate the words cheap. It's something without or a less cost. Okay, now think, uh, figure it. It's a figure. This is a figure. Expensive. Expensive. Mm -hmm. Cheap. Cheap. Okay. Chat. Cheap. Mm. Chat. Joman. <laughs> I want to see your creativity, Nelson. Erica. A cheap chat. This is very used by Americans. Hey, uh, can we have a cheap chat? Can we have a cheap chat? Podemos tener una conversación corta. Okay. Algo breve. Super short. Okay. Hey, let's have a cheap chat. Okay. Another way of saying that is, well, you may hear this. Let me... Uh, let me have a word with you. Let me, yeah. Let me have, let me have a word with you. Let me have a word with you. Let me have a word with you. Now this is very pushy, very demanding. Be careful. If you want to make it softer, you can say, "May I have a word with you?" A tu jefe si le diría así. May I have a word with you? Hey, boss, uh, may I have a word with you? This is very formal, very nice. Okay. Good. Adriana Jose, I'm sorry, Adriana Jose Serna Duran. 
present. Daniel Antonio Luna. Erika Jasmine Martínez Carpio. Present. Thank you. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present. Thank you. Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. Present teacher. <clears throat> Iván Petrovic Guzmán Aquino. Present. Thank you. Eh, la cámara, porfa, a todos. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Jolman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Lucy Nath Nathalie Juárez de Ramírez. Lucy, 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 not here. Nelson Antonio Herrodas Rosales. Present. Thank you. Ruth Isela Joaquín Flores. Hasta acá, wey. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Thank you. And Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Ok. Héctor, eh, de casualidad, ¿tiene usted conectado algún... Es que le comento, el filtro de agua de mi casa está conectado a la misma línea de corriente que me surte la electricidad a la, a la máquina. Entonces, cuando encienden, y tienen la orden de no encender el filtro cuando están en clase, porque cuando encienden el filtro se ve como se le ve a usted a veces la cámara cuando sentimos en la clase que usted se está teletransportando a otra dimensión o a otro tiempo, espacio. Bien raro. <ríe> Así se agarra a mí, yeah. por eso. No, I don't know. I have a problem, uh, uh, maybe a couple, couple uh, class before, uh -huh. a problem with my webcam. And um, I buy, buy, buy. How do you say buy in past? Uh, I bought out. Out. Let's see. Buy in. No. What? Out. No. You're so saying sorry. Both. 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 La, re, acuérdense de la regla de la T, dos vocales en, y en la T en medio. Yo compré una Coca-Cola. Ajá. ¿Sí? I bought. I, I bought. Bora. Excellent, Bora. Jamie. I bought a Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Bora Coca-Cola. I bought a Coke. <laughs> you got it. Okay, I bought a Coke. Coca-Cola. Hector, so you Coca. bought. I bought a camera. I bought a camera. camera. I bought a camera. I bought a camera. But not fix. No, no fix. But that didn't fix it. I fixed it. Uh, and and broke. broke. Repeat, broke. repeat. But that didn't fix it. The camera that fixed it. No, no, no. But that didn't fix it. That didn't fix, fix it. it. Correct. Fix it. Fix it. Uh-huh. Fix it. Then, the camera dead <laughs> and, and, and use, the uh, camera passed away and the camera passed away passed away <laughs> passed away uh-huh passed and then you away uh -huh. passed away and now use only my my uh in camera inside the computer oh, wait, wait, wait. and now i can only use ah i can only use the my camera integrated camera oh integrated camera not yeah. inside the, my computer <laughs> no it's a good job we're learning we're learning that i i used to be a dell technician remember so i know a little bit about computers the integrated camera integrated, uh, the, uh, i have a problem i don't know why teacher that's you know what it is well is I'm it a laptop is it a laptop no, no, it's a, a three in one. I don't know the name. Oh, I got a, you. I got you. It's an all in one. Oh, uh -huh, all in one. An, an all in one. I don't recommend buy. I know, <laughs> I know. 
I have one, but it, it's too old. Uh, there is a cord going from the camera to the motherboard. So it's just a problem that is loosened. It's just loosened. Oh. If you use the screwdriver, you open it, you can clean it and put it back and that's it. It's very simple. I will try. Yeah. Don't blame me later. No me culpe, porque <laughs> the teacher said. Oh, come okay. On. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. So tonight we have to talk about training options and the benefits of different training options. We started training options before, um, if you remember, but we talked about the negative effects of not having a training. We started the different options. And then we're gonna talk about the benefits in a minute. It's just working on it. Okay. This looks good, actually. Pretty long, but it works. Sorry, I'm just manipulating the other screen. And there we go. Let me think about this for a minute. Okay. Good. So far, I haven't have the time to practice with you because it's very important for you to have conversations just the way we're doing right now any topic so how do you how do you come up with a topic how do you break the ice okay fatima how do you break the ice Talk about career path. About what? Career path. Oh, no, come on, really? You talk about your career path with people? Or talking about past movies? Oh, about Movie? movies. How, how would you do it? Okay, you don't know me. You don't know me, okay? Oh, hi. Guys, <laughs> remember your environment. If there's too much noise, turn on your microphone. En serio, no queremos escuchar conversaciones que no nos incumben. Cuidado, ya me he pasado, se los digo por eso. Ok, so, icebreakers. I'm going to send you a link tonight so you, we can warm up. You know what is warm up? What is to warm up? One, two, three, four. Ok, what is to warm up? Where is the word? To heat up. Carla, to heat up. Mm -hmm. mm, I don't know. What Maybe. is to warm up? When you go to the gym, do you warm up or not? Yes. Okay, so what is warm up? Is uh, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, to that. To, to that? Yeah, no, that's to sweat. Okay. To uh, warm uh, to warm up in English will be like practice a conversation so you can warm up. And you can start talking. So on your chat, on your Zoom, I'm sorry, your WhatsApp, I just send you this link. This, don't project it, okay? No, no lo proyecten en la, en la pantalla. Solamente elijan una pregunta, le pueden seguir dando el botón anaranjado para ir cambiando de preguntas. For example, and just throw the question to a classmate. Don't go and throw the question. No, select somebody. For example, Nelson. What is the best part of your day? 
what's the best part of your day, Nelson? My best part of the day is when I am at home. When you're at home, when I'm at home. Repeat, when I'm at yeah. home. When I'm at home. Why? Uh, because I like to rest at home. To rest? I prefer. Yes, I prefer uh, stay wait, at wait, home. I prefer? I, I prefer to stay out at home when I, for example, when I have a day off. I, I prefer stay at home resting. Then spending money, right? Yes. Going out with friends and yeah. If, if I want if I want to eat something delicious, I I prefer when my when my wife cooking at home. Excellent. Likewise. Likewise. What is likewise, Arena? Why me? Oh, come on, stop it. Why why me? You're my dictionary today, Adrian. Okay, next question, Adriana. What was your last favorite, I'm sorry, your least favorite subject in school? What was your least favorite subject in school? I, I have to say more than one. <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> no, no, <set> <laughs> <me>. <laughs> um, I think language. Languages? Yes. Why? Uh, language. No, language, right? In there. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I like uh, the grammar of, or is, I like, to be honest, I like uh, study about morphology and something like that. <laughs> Wait, so you like? <laughs> yes. I no, like. the question is, what was your least, least. favorite subject school? The, the one that you ah, like sorry 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 the I, less sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. I, okay, okay. Mm, I think that I don't tell me the physical education uh, no no no. <laughs> <laughs> no actually I think that I don't don't hate I didn't uh, hate I didn't I... hate any any subject really Since... not even math or physics no, to be honest, no. I wow. like uh I liked to to study, but I didn't like to to make homework. To uh, do homework. To do homework. To the, to the homework, because I think that that I learned more t is studying, but not just doing work, homework, mm. and homework, homework. So that was something that I. I don't, I didn't like about school, <laughs> the homework. <laughs> Excellent. So you see, these are random questions. Just make the question. Now, let's say I ask Adriana. So Adriana will ask someone else and like that. Okay. Just click on the orange button. Just make sure that you all know the grammar of the question, okay? Si, si me entendieron, asegúrense que la gramática de esa pregunta la puedan entender todos, y que no sea algo raro, right? Because there are questions like, uh, no, no, that, no, okay? Okay, let's see if you can do it. Open the link, I will be there with you. We are 10 participants right now, so let's make three groups, just three groups, okay? Let's go. Si se queda solo alguien y nadie del grupo habla, eh, me llaman y yo los muevo, ¿ok? Let's go. Goldman, let's join.
Martes, Tuesday. <laughs> Sorry? Martes, Tuesday. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> Every day. Hello. <laughs> okay. My, my uh, the problem. link is clicking generate another random topic. No, not, I don't know. Perfect. Is necessary generate? Uh, you can question. click on the on the orange button. Just click on the orange button. You will see another question. So you can go, Hector, like, Erika, uh, what's the question? Erika, is it better? Hey. Da, 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 you make the question. For example, for example, Erika, is it better to work at a job that you love or a job that pays well? Uy. <laughs> mm, if I love it, I will never work, by the way. But right. if I love it, and the payment is not enough. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. How do you, so you can, you can use phrases, Erika, like, that's a good one. And that's a, that's a tough that's one. That's a yeah. tough one. This is not difficult. That's a tough one. Yes. Man, that's a good one. Um, yeah. Now, Erika just gave me the answer, but try to extend more. Now, Erika, select another question and say, Joelman, Hector, Fatima, and throw the question. Okay. 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 Get Actually, I had one. And it's really windy in Lago de... But the peque. Yeah. Right. Windy swimming. Right swimming. <laughs> swimming. <laughs> Richard, do, do you listen the, the, the noise in the Yes, but it's not you, it's, it's Carla. There's oh the fan, Carla, the fan. There's ah. Oh. <laughs> ah. she's gonna move the fan. Okay. Okay, so the this dynamic is very uh good actually. So just get a question, get a question from the from the orange button. And for example, you can say, Carla, is it better to work at a job that you love or a job that pays well? What is better? I prefer, I prefer that work that I love. Really? Even if the payment is not so good? It, it is important, but I, I don't know. Sometimes I have worked, worked in, 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 in some companies that the pay is good, but the environment no it's toxic, like, uh, it's toxic. okay now, environment toxic <laughs> it's a toxic environment toxic, toxic environment okay carla now select a question and say for example ivan and you make the question okay luego ivan selecciona alguien más y pregunta hace otra pregunta okay okay use the link on the whatsapp Yes. Jamie, can you hear us? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Ivan, what do you what do you wear to sleep? <laughs> what do you wear? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. If it is difficult to, to buy for you, you can uh, do value on every, on everything do you have. 
Okay. So I I think in my case, in my case, I, I prefer <laughs> be poor. Okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> what was the question? Okay, um, would you rather be poor? Or ugly. Oh no way! <laughs> Don't use the "would you rather" questions yet. Ah, uh, okay. Something simpler. Are you doing anything fun this weekend? No. <laughs> That's future. That's simple future, Samantha. Are you doing anything fun this weekend? Fun. Yeah. Uh... Only work. Yes, I went to. No, no, no. Uh, Wait. Look at the question. Are you doing anything fun this weekend? I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Going to do. Uh -huh. That's present continuous, actually. Uh, not Please. really. I, I, I don't have any plans. I don't have any plans. But I'm thinking about going and then visiting create it make it up yeah this week i'm on vacation so i plan i'm planning to, i'm planning to do some uh some visiting um, some what? home chores what is that Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. That's que hacer del hogar. Ah, uh, no, no, no. No. <laughs> She's like, oh no, no, no. <laughs> like nails, okay, okay. So, what are you planning to do? For example, I, I went today. I went to a termale, and tomorrow maybe I go to los chorros. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to Los Chorros. Okay. Uh -huh. Remember, in future, you can use three things. Well, even present four. Um, I'm going to go. Yeah. I'm going swimming. I think I'm um, having dinner at. I think I'm um, traveling to. That's present continuous. You can use will as well. Okay. I think I, yeah. I'll... I'll visit somebody. I'll visit some friends. Okay. Now, Samantha, select a random question on the purple, I'm sorry, the orange button and make it to Adriana or Nelson or Vanessa. Okay. And then so on and so forth. You see, no? Okay. Yes. Keep going. Okay. Fix. Fix car. Yes, I want to put uh, a fixed cars. Ah, start, start, no, start business for fit car business. Yes, yes, yes. yes. For sale. I, um, for repair, okay. my cars and mm -hmm. sell them. Ah, oh. oh, okay. Because I. ¿Cómo extra el teacher? I import cars mm -hmm. to United States. From? From United States. From the United States. From the, from the, from the United ¿Por States. ¿Por qué? Y lo quiero decir en español, y lo voy a acordarme de decirlo en el salón, porque o sea, cuando estamos todos juntos, Los americanos se enojan, son cheles, ¿no? Se ponen rojos cuando escuchan Are you from USA? Es como que te, te digan ¿Eres de Salvador? ¿Eres de Salvador? ¿Qué haces tú? De El Salvador. El Salvador, dice uno, ¿verdad? Lo mismo pasa con los americanos. So just be careful. The, e, y es the, no the. From the United States. From the United States. Okay. Ah, from the United States. Los acabo de, los acabo de salvar de tantos problemas ahorita. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense oh. now. <laughs> no, no, no. You say, now it all makes sense. Now. 
it all makes sense. No, it all makes sense. Teacher. <laughs> no, it all. Uh huh, Joman. Also, you can you can say the U.S. Now. From the U.S. I'm from the U.S. Yeah, you can use the U.S. It's well, okay. actually. But it's, yeah. it's, it's better than the United States. The United States. That's right. That's right. Okay. Choose another question. Come on. We're missing what? Four minutes. Four minutes. Another question? Buddy. I had one. When we... When you were younger, what did you want to be when you grew up? Oh my goodness. Can you repeat me, please? I'm not understand. When, when you were younger. Oh, wait, can you repeat it, please? Repeat it, please. Hector, repeat come it. on. Teacher? Repeat it. Can you repeat it, please? Can you repeat it, please? Go. Okay. Erika, can you repeat this, please? <laughs> what? Okay. When, when you were younger, what did you want to be when you grow up? Grew up. Um. Mm. Playing soccer. Uh, when, when was young. John, uh, I want when play play soccer like a uh, mundial. I don't know how to say it in English mundial. Like it, but grown up and turn in uh, lazy lazy boy, <laughs> and then 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 cannot play soccer. Okay. So Who else? Fatima? Uh, I want to be million. <laughs> million. What? Millionaire? Ah. <laughs> Mi millionaire. 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 Or billionaire. Millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> like a Elon Musk. Erika, no, millionaire. Laugh. Billionaire. <laughs> Come on, Risa. Huh? Laugh. 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 Erika, laugh. Love, very uh, funny, uh, like a billion, <laughs> contagious, contagious. <laughs> oh, so my you, goodness. You, so you use a, a, a what a possessive noun and you say Erica's laugh is very contagious, <laughs> contagious, 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 contagious. Ah, you got it, contagious, contagious. yes, contagious. contagious. Okay. Palman is so high. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Hey, Jolman, stop doing that. Jolman, not anymore, please. Come on. It's true. It, it makes you smarter, you know? It makes you smarter, but no, no, no. Don't do that anymore. Okay, it's not good. Let's go. Oh, my God, he's flying. Okay. <laughs> When I was young, I never needed anyone. Making love's just the fun. Those days are gone. Don't close your eyes. No, that, that's another one. Wait. <laughs> no, I was not, I wasn't singing that one, but it it's very similar, right? No, but I I uh like uh, two days ago I in my in my in my mind I I I say 
I forget, I forgot a, a song. Uh, that song is, don't close your eyes. Tonight. Let it be me. Not so, just a fantasy, everybody. Let it be me. No, no. Wait. I had that song stuck on my head. I thought you were going to say, I had that song stuck on my head all day long. Has that ever happened to you? When somebody's like, da, 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 and then you all day repeating that song in your head, right? <laughs> I had that song stuck on my head. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I forgot the head. I forgot my head. I had that song stuck on my head all day long. Uh, was was like I forgot the the name of that song. That's it, worst. I was I was I was like I don't remember. I don't remember. I have I I need to listen again because that song uh, uh, passed uh in my mind so it was like i have to listen okay because you're you're missing something i need to listen again you're missing one thing there what are you missing gentlemen i need to listen again uh -huh. because uh -uh. what are you missing on this sentence i need to listen Again, uh -uh. What is what is missing, guys? Estoy probando, señores. Vamos a ver. What I need to listen again. I need to listen. Listen it. Listen. Close, close. Okay, one more word before. Jamie. Listen to. Listen to. <laughs> listen to it again. Repeat. I need to listen to it again. I need to listen to it again. Okay, good. This okay. is a trend. El 90% de, de compañeros de trabajo que tengo en el call center tienen ese problema. Se les olvida el, el, su, el objeto de lo que dicen, se les está olvidando. O ponen un verbo en pasado y después agregan el it. Y ya no es necesario. I like it. Uh, I like it strawberries. No sé por qué hacen eso. I like it strawberries. Me gustaron las fresas. I like it. ¿Y saben qué es? Es la fonética. I liked, liked the strawberries. I like the strawberries. Ya, yeah, o sea, that's a problem. Súper rápido. ¿Quién vio el video de los ED endings? Los 10 minutos que les recomendé. ¿Se acuerdan? ¿Sí lo vieron? No. Hmm. Nadie lo vio. No, teacher, me not. Póngalo. I'm so sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Oh, my God. No hay clase aguada, hay teacher aguado. That was my saying when I was a supervisor. I was like, there's no, there's no flat class. There's flat teacher. If your class is flat, then you're flat. That's true. Pero aquí no les puedo presionar. This is something else, okay? So it's up to you. It's up to you if you want to improve your pronunciation. I'm sorry that on Friday you were not here, right? But you should watch that class as well on Friday's class. So tonight, let's go with the topic for tonight. Let me choose a random question really quick. Hmm. Uh, Jamie, what's your ideal way to celebrate your birthday? Birthday. What's your ideal way to celebrate your birthday? Mm. Go to a mountain to campaign with mm -hmm. my family. Go to a mountain and do some camping with my, my family. Do some camping. 
and camping yeah. with my family. Whoa, that sounds awesome. Do some fishing. What? Go fishing? Mm, no, maybe in May barbecue. Do a barbecue? Okay. Light up a fire. Yes. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Light so, up light up a fire. Light up, light up a fire. Okay. Let me start presenting. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, everybody. Did you like to start talking with your classmates? That's better. That's that's really good, right? Just any topic. Okay, uh, where are we? Here we are. Okay, so tonight we have to talk about training options and the benefits of training options. Let me mute all of you. There we go. Now let me have you on my right side. Okay, training options, benefits. Training is an essential and how do you read the next word? Inevitable. <laughs> mm, let's see. Next. Someone else? Try it. Try it. How... Inevitable. Inevitable. Come on. Inevitable. Thanos. Thanos. Uh huh. I remember, but the pronunciation is inevitable. It's very similar to Spanish. Inevitable. Inevitable. But, but that. Uh -uh. Is that it, 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 it? Remember the T between two vowels. I'm, I'm inevitable. Um, I'm inevitable. In the, like in a D. Ine inevitable. I'm inevitable. 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 Don't trust me. Go to Juglish, remember? I hope you're using those these tools. Go to Juglish. Let's type inevitable. Can you imagine a gringo singing at Luis Miguel's concert? Inevitable. Collectively, Listen. inevitable. Inevitable. Next. Health are not inevitable. Inevitable. You... of the inevitable. In what? Inevitable. I didn't get that one. Failure is nearly inevitable. 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 The faster you say it, the better it sounds. Inevitable. Inevitable. Hector? Inevitable. Better. Inevitable. Okay, let's inevitable. move on. <laughs> Thank you. So, training is an essential and inevitable part of professional Growth, growth, growth. This presentation describes different training options and their benefits for individuals and organizations. Let's see, in person, let's go with the first uh, training option, in-person training. Um, let's see, Ivan, can you help me? Interactive learning. Okay. Interactivity learning. In-person training allows face-to-face -face interaction with the trainer and another. What is pronunciation? Participants. You got it. Participants making it a great option for collaborative learning and networking. Uh, collaborative. Excuse me, collaborative learning, learning and networking. Good job. So in person training allows face to face interaction. Interaction, interaction is up to you with the trainers and other participants. Make it in a great option for collaborative learning and networking. So getting to know other people is important, but building your networking is is even more important. This is something that they don't teach us at school, you know, how to work with others, have good human relations. That's that's gold. That's really important. Thank you, Ivan. 
Effective, commu effective communication. Fatima. Joiners can better understand individual participants' learning styles and tailor their communication methods accordingly. 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 Better. Accordingly. Thank you. Hey, do you know, guys, why there's an apostrophe here? Why does it say a participants and it has the little apostrophe here? Because it's plural. Mm -hmm. A mistake. It's possessive. <laughs> Excellent, yeah. Erika. It's a possessive noun. Okay. How do you know? Trainers can better understand individual participants' learning styles. Ojo. El nombre es estilos. Styles. ¿Ok? ¿Qué está calificando el nombre? Todo lo que va antes de él. ¿Ok? Learning participants. Entonces, dice, los entrenadores pueden comprender mejor sí, los estilos individuales de aprendizaje de los, el, del aprendizaje de los el aprendizaje de los participantes. Este apóstrofe es el de los. Por eso se llama nombre posesivo. No sé si le olvide eso. Otra vez estuvo, me costó traducir esto. Trainers, los entrenadores pueden comprender mejor los estilos de aprendizaje de lo individual de los participantes. Así sería. Pueden entender mejor los estilos de aprendizaje individual de los participantes. De los participantes. Okay. And tailor their communication methods accordingly. Can somebody translate this for me, please? Tailor their communication methods accordingly. No Google Translate. Tailor their communication methods accordingly. We saw that word before. Tailor. It's not Taylor Swift. It's Taylor. What's the meaning of Taylor? No. Taylor uh, is a person the the fabrics the profession. That's profession. Mm -hmm. What does he in, do? In the in the in the in the context is a uh, Taylor is a uh, 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 se conoce uh, mm -hmm. knows uh, it's, no, it's known eh, it's known uh -huh. it's known it's uh, known official. Uh, what is an official in English? Is it's not a profession. That's when you go to school and then you learn, and that's a profession. But uh, what is the other word? Mm, don't know. Come profession. on, guys. This this is basic levels here. You have professions, occupations. Okay, it's an occupation, Ivan. Mm -hmm. Occupation. Mm -hmm. It's an occupation. It's a person at uh, the, uh, the occupation and the fabric, fabric uh, dress. Okay, it's a person known by, for fabricating or producing, producing not dresses, suits. 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 A yeah, a tailor is for men. Tailors are for oh, men. Yeah. Is that right? No, right. It's yeah, true. Hector, German, yeah. It, tailors are for men, but uh, how do you call a women that sues? I can't remember. Dress. A dresser? No. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, I can't remember how to say costurera in English. Erika, auxilio, I mean help. Me neither. <laughs> Come on. Adriana, Adriana. Let me check it. Sin strength. Ah, what? Type it, type it. Type it. Sin strength. Sin stress. <laughs> what? I have seen that before, but seamstress. Okay. Dressmaker. Needlewoman. 
Needle woman. <laughs> Needle woman is a compound word. Okay. So if a tailor elaborates uh, clothes for men, he does it to fit the body, right? It fits the body. So tailor their communication methods accordingly will be... Me, uh, tailor is a synonym for what? Uh, in translator, maybe uh, hecho a la medida. Exactly, but no, but good to Spanish, fit. beautiful Spanish. Yeah, but to fit, <laughs> to fit, ah, to fit. Yeah, excellent. Uh -huh. To fit their communication methods accordingly, according to the group, right? Because I I cannot teach you the way I will teach a basic level. Good. is not the same to teach you in advance than teaching a basic three level, okay? So I have to tailor the methodology to your level. Good. Hands-on practice, Vanessa. Vanessa, do I be? Okay. Hands on practice. Participants can engage in role play, group activities, and simulations for a more immersive learning experience. Hey, beautiful reading. Good job, Vanessa. You just ate the, the uh, okay, for a more immersive learning experience. Okay, this is very important uh, because your brain perceives more when 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 it touches something. When you touch something, your brain um, works better. You know, it absorbs the information better. Okay, and engaging. I love this word. Uh, Erica, are you engaged with your job? With your job, are you engaged with your job? Well, to be completely honest. <laughs> no. <laughs> you cannot say no. We are recording. Remember, we're recording. This goes to YouTube. Okay. <laughs> really? I'm completely engaged with my work. <laughs> I love my job. Mm -hmm. I I really I, I was engaged with my first call center job at an airline. I loved it. It was amazing working for an airline. Okay, so I was really engaged. Comprometido. Okay, let's, so that was, that. this were three, look, uh, we have in-person, right? In-person training. Now we have the opposite, online trainings. What's, what's, what are the benefits of online training? Um, Mariana? I'm sleeping. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> okay. Okay, accessibility. Online trainings is accessible from anywhere, anytime, making it a great option. Yeah, for yeah. Making it. Hmm? Making it. At, at. Oh, making it. A great option. A great option for Great people. option. Great, great option. But for people with busy lives or uh. no place. Huh. Lives. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> or remote employees. Uh -huh. Employees. Mm -hmm. em employees. Emplo employees. Employees. Uh, employees. 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 <laughs> uh -huh. Like employees. 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. Employee, employees. Good. Mm -hmm. So th this is true, right? Can you imagine? Um, okay, on the count of three, say the name of your municipality. I want to hear you guys. Say the name of your municip municipality. One, two, three, Mexicanos. San Salvador. Uh-huh. Let's see how far, how far we are. Okay, San Salvador, neighbor. Uh-huh. <laughs> How far are we? Ivan, come on, gentlemen. What? 
<laughs> what did Soya 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 City? Soya City. Soya Bronx. Soya Bronx, Soya, okay. Soya Brown. <laughs> Iván. Soya Pánico. Soya Pánico. <laughs> Iván, what's the name of the your, mun your municipality? Ah, uh, uh, municipality is a uh, Soya Pan. Really? The gray, soya, the gray Soya Pan. <laughs> I thought you were in Santa Ana because of the what the Peca Lake. No, I, I live in Soyapango. Oh my God, you're playing with my feelings because I'm from Santa Ana. Oh my God. Okay, no, no. Adriana, New York City. Soyapango. <laughs> what? Fatima? <laughs> Are you there too? San Salvador. San Salvador. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, Hector, are you far away? A little bit in Santiago, Texacuangos. Wh where is that? Close to the uh, Olocuilta. Oh, okay. Mm. Nice weather. Mm. Um, maybe a little bit, but today not. It was hot. Okay, mm. Nelson. Nelson said he was where? I'm from Zacateco, Lucas. He's in Sa and what's the municipality? Yes, Zacateco, Lucas. Zacate, Zacateco, Lucas. Okay, okay. It's different, right? The department and, and the municipality. Okay, Jamie. Eh, la Libertad. Whoa. Is it hot? No. <laughs> no, not right now. Okay. No. I think, thank you, thank you. Carla is in Escalón or... or... Or Santa Elena, something like that. <laughs> Carla. No, I live in San Jacinto, San Salvador. You see, San Jacinto is beautiful. I know. Excellent. Yes, I like. Yeah, everybody likes it. Samantha, we're almost done. I live in Santa Tecla. Sa oh, Santa Tecla. Well, Santa Tecla used to be very cold, right? Not anymore. Okay. Used to be. <laughs> Used to be. And Vanessa. We're finished finishing with Vanessa. In the Urdes. In the Oh, I like the Urdes. Although I don't like the people driving in the Urdes. They're they're crazy, really. A lot of people driving in the Urdes is uh, just be careful. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, okay, it's just my 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 parents in law, my in laws, my in laws living in Lourdes, and when we go there, if I see a car with a lot of lights or stickers, or they they go like, boom, 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 I go like, oh my god, I better let them go. You know, it's dangerous. They drive recklessly. Okay, so going back to the point accessible from ev anywhere i mean you as long as you have internet connection we're fine in that same term cost effective since there is no need to travel lot lot what wait logging oh logging in login this is misspelled i don't think that's the right word and i made this presentation Oh, no, no, no. Lodging. Lodging? Do you know what is lodging? No? To stay in a hotel, for example, that's lodging. Lodging. Alojamiento. Or resources. Listen, resources. Resources. Such as classrooms and equipment. Online training is usually more cost effective for both individuals and organizations. So yes, uh, you are saving money. We are saving money. I'm saving money as a teacher. I'm not traveling to the classroom, although I like it. I, I prefer live classes, to be honest. Okay, uh, let's see who can read. Carla, Carla, can you help us self? Okay, self. Self pass. Oh. I don't know how, how pronounce it. Anybody? Is. 
Anybody? Guess the pronunciation. Oh, close. Uh huh. <laughs> Come Based. on, guys. Yes, Carla, you got it. Self paced <laughs> learning. Uh huh. Continue, Carla. <laughs> Come on, Carla. I, I can I, I can read because I Oh your eyes. No, 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 no. It's not my eyes. I I don't know. I see um, blurry. I I it's okay. Okay. Uh, a part participant uh, self based learning. Mm -hmm. Participants can learn at their own pace and convenience. Mm -hmm. Free, 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 very good. Free them, free them from reading schedule and timelines. Excellent. Okay, nice try. Let's see. Repeat there. There. At their own pace. At their own pace. There. Carla. At their own pace. Very good. Just forget about the I, yes? guys. Yes, you got it. At their own pace and convenience. Freeing them. Repeat, freeing them. Freeing them. From rigid from rigid schedules. Schedules. Everybody. Schedules. Schedules. Jules. Schedules. Schedules. Oh, you got it. You got it? Good job. Schedules. That you say? Schedules. Wait. Remember, there is no A before the S. Okay, so schedules. Mm, this you, schedules, jules, jules. Schedules, schedules, schedules. See? Schedules. <laughs> no. Schedules. Schedule. Schedule. Schedules. You got it. You got it. Okay. So, yes, you don't have a schedule. You can go on your own pace. So, that's more convenient, right? It's more convenient. Okay. So, for your own convenience, this is more convenient for you. Teacher, I'm sorry. Uh, can you, yeah. Uh, freeing, freeing them, or how? Freeing them You're from free. speaking. You're free to do what you <laughs> want to do. You gotta live your life. Do what you want to do. That's a, a beautiful song. <laughs> You're <Okay>. free. <laughs> yeah. Freeing. Freeing. I'm freeing you. I'm releasing you. I'm making, I'm setting you free. That's another way of saying the same thing. I'm setting you free. Yeah. Okay. And the next word, them from frigid. Frigid. Rigid. 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 That's my wife when we got married. She was rigid. <laughs> she was rigid. Walking to the altar. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> well, somebody somebody passes away. When you passed away, you're rigid. That's a weird example, but yeah, you become rigid. You cannot move. Okay, and timelines, I think we all get it, right? Good. Okay, let's move on. Large, Erika, large scale deployment. Oh, I said deployment and it was a tricky word. Okay, go. Your microphone. There you go. Yeah. 
Yeah, we, we can see you moving your mouth, but the ah. microphone is... Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, large-scale deployment. Online, online training can be deployed to a large audience. Making... <laughs> You are like Pepe Grillo right now, did you? I know. <laughs> okay, making it an effective option for organizations with geographically dispersed dispersed teams or customers. Good job. Just the word geographically. Geographically. Geo. Geo. Geographically? Geographically. Mm -hmm. Geographically, okay. dispersed teams or customers. Any new words, guys? No, this is easy, right? We're just learning some vocabulary. Okay, let's move on. Now, we saw these two options, right? We saw in person training, and then we talked about online training, which is what we're doing. This is very self explanatory. This is very self explanatory. I like that word. It's very self-explanatory. You just read it and understand it. We live it. We're living it. Online training is our this. But what is a hybrid? What's a hybrid training? Hybrid. It combines in-person and online training. Mm. Okay. It offers the best of both, both worlds. Interactive, hands-on learning, and flexible self-paced learning uh i i learned about this but in spanish we call them synchronico or asynchronico so you have a synchronic online training is when everybody is there there's a set schedule a fixed schedule i'm sorry it's a fixed schedule and everybody connects to the class at the same time just the way we're doing right now this is a synchronic uh what is it a synchronic uh virtual class asynchronic and the other one is uh asynchronic so you do the training whenever you have your time if you have time at 12 midnight then at that time you yeah yeah you got synchronic is we're all synced at the same time here asynchronic it's out of time i mean it's in, on your own time correct me if it's the opposite i can you're making me doubt anyways yeah that's the idea so self-paced learning is your own time okay it's flexible hybrid trainings allow participants to tailor their learning journey based on their needs schedule and preference do you think do you think that I could be an English student? Could I be an English student? Now that you know me, do you think I sh I could be in an English class? Learning English, of course. No, teacher, I don't think you could be in an English class, teacher. Uh -huh. Come on, guys. Talking to myself, oh, 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 talking to myself. You repeat it. Okay, do you think that I could be learning English in an English class? You could, yes, but you, do, you don't need cool. it. <laughs> no, why, who says I don't need it, Adriana? <laughs> how, do you, how do you know? I think I, I could be. In a very advanced English class, of course, learning more English. There's, I mean, knowledge is very extensive, and especially on languages. But at this point, it it will have to be out of this country or or virtually with other people from other nationalities, I guess, from another country. I, I don't know, but that's what it says, based on their needs. So there are trainings that you will find. Oh, I already know this. Come on. I know that. Oh, this, I don't know. Oh, I, I'm going to study this. So they go by chapters and you can 
read some chapters that you think you know and then move to another chapter that you don't know. Makes sense, right? Okay, and preference, that's your preference, it's your choice. Okay, and finally, hybrid trainings, uh, maximize the training investment by optimizing the effectiveness, efficiency, and reach of the training program. I don't like that word. Investment, so, <laughs> has anybody here applied to TACA? to become a flight attendant? No? Erika, really? You don't No, Fatima, have you ever applied to TACA? Nobody? Carla? Carla, please. Uh, have you ever what? <laughs> have you ever applied to TACA to become a flight attendant? Ataka, TACA Airlines? Or United, I don't know. Any airline? Um, in Taka, um, I don't remember. I, 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 no. I, no, I went. I, you remember that there was an airline? Well, there is, I believe, an airline here in El Salvador from Emiratos Árabes Unidos, right? Qatar. Qatar Airlines, they were hiring people and, and I went to the interview. Uh, it's a multi-stage, a multi-stage interview. And they have traps, traps all over the place. The first, the first, um, you see, I forget words, it's normal. How do you say colador o embudo in English? Funnel? The first funnel. Funnel. Uh -huh. The first, I'm going to say funnel for Colador Embudo. Okay. They have is the stairs. When you go to that building, that Avianca building in Santa Elena, there's a lot of stairs. I mean, you're standing here on the first floor and the, the stairs are all the way up and you see the people on the top waiting for you. Is watching you walking up the stairs. When you get up stairs, if you are dying because you went up like 50 or 100 steps, steps, not stairs, you went up like 100 steps and you get, you reach them and you go like, good morning. They go like, oh, I'm so sorry. You cannot continue the training. The, the, the interview, I'm sorry. You cannot continue the interview. And they're going like, okay. Give us your resume. Okay, we will call you. Next, they take you to a room. You take off your shoes. Take off your shoes. And there are some pieces of um, tape. There are some tape pieces on the on the wall. And you stand on against the wall. You stand against the wall to see how high you are, okay? The minimum height for men is 1.72, I will say. For women, it is 172 too, 170. So, <laughs> oh my God, it was, it, that was cruel. That was cruel. I, I'm 74, I'm 174, one meter and 74 centimeters, right? There were women, there were women not willing to remove their heels. They were wearing really high heels. They were like, I'm sorry, you have to remove your heels. Book. So they were like 150, 55. I'm sorry, you cannot continue on the interview. Give us your resume, we will call you. Man, I was like, I made it to the last two sections. Section number one of the last stage, you are in a room with the rest of the applicants. Listen, the rest of the applicants. And they go like this. Good morning. Everybody goes, good morning. 
Okay, my name is Hugo. We are here today to start a training. You have to understand that this is a very expensive training. The people who understood what I'm saying, please stand up. Like three people sitting on their chair. You, 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 I'm so sorry. You cannot continue on this interview. Did you get it? ¿Se entendieron lo que pasó? No. Te hablan rápido en inglés. Y si no escuchas, no estás atento. Cuando dices stand up. Man. Y te quedas sentado. Bye. And then they continue speaking fast. And then they say a keyword. Same thing. Now the last people. Okay. All of you. Good job. Good English. You understand? Now, let me tell you, and they start talking in Spanish. This training is very expensive. It's $30,000 for each of you, $30,000 to train you to become a flight attendant. And the most expensive part is that we will take you to Lago de Cuatepeque, okay? On a chapter, on an helicopter, I'm sorry, a helicopter. And we will throw you in the middle of the lake with your clothes and your shoes on. And you have to swim to the shore of the lake. Do you think you can make it? If we do it right now, can you swim to the shore of the lake? Like three guys, fat guys? Hi. <laughs> That's so funny. And I was like, no, I'm going to do it. Bye -bye. <laughs> yeah, the same thing. And man, it's, it's very expensive and it's very interesting. I mean, you're going to learn a lot. Yes, you will fly all around the world, but you will have no life. No life because you're traveling when they need you. So it's, you get good paid, but you don't have a life. And finally, you had the English interview. You have a set of guys making you questions and everything. And when I said my age, I was 35. This was like six years ago. Yeah. I said 35 and they were like, oh my God, I'm sorry. Bye-bye. Awesome. <laughs> okay. So. Necesito monitorear la clase. Uh, ¿Se perdieron? ¿Se durmieron? ¿Les pareció interesante la historia? ¿O oh, está aburrida la clase? ¿Todo bien? All good. ¿Ya? Yeah? Oh, good. Good teacher. Teacher. I hope I hope you're understanding because you're about to do something similar. Okay, uh, you're about to. If you don't have a story, you have to come up with the story of a difficult training. Okay, or at least make up an interview. Create an interview. What do you think is a difficult interview process? Okay, why? Because the first thing, the first part of the training is getting into the training from the perspective, from the point of view, the POV. You know, sabían que quería ser POV en TikTok? Okay, point of view, right? Okay, so from the perspective of a new hire, you're getting the job. I mean, it's not easy, right? Then you get the job. What's the training? What is it difficult about the, the training, being trained, okay? We will do that in a, in a minute. I'm almost done with the presentation, okay? So, hybrid, a combination of both. Uh, customized training. Uh, Joel, help me, please. Joelman? Joelman, wake up. Uh, why? Come on. <laughs> How do you say command in English? What? I don't know. There, there's no way. There's no way to say command in English. I don't know. If you know, what? let me know. Okay. Needs assessment. Joman. Need assessment. Identify the specific learning needs, goals, and change. Think and twice. Change. Think twice. Huh? Think Ch twice. Ch Pensado veces. Changes. You know this word. Challenge. Challenges. Ch 
Challenges, challenges. Esa, esa que te sabías, ya viste. Ok, challenges of the... Challenges of the participants and the organization. The organization. The organization. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Hey, en la TH, chicos, cuando el artículo de va antes de una vocal, se dice the. Si está antes de una consonante, se dice the. Y digo esto en español para que sea rápido. Eh, si lo que está después del artículo the es muy único o le querés dar mucha... Uh, resaltar lo que es muy importante para ti, lo dices como the... For example, the Bible. For example, the United States. ¿Por qué esa es una excepción? Porque las palabras que van con U y N suenan a G. No tienen un sonido vocal, sino un sonido consonante. G. Se elimina esa regla, ¿no? Unicorn. Union. United States. ¿Ok? Ojo. Oh. Entonces, ¿qué artículo ocupo? ¿A, a union o an union? ¿An unicorn o a unicorn? A unicorn. Ya. Yeah. Sí, porque se ve horrible, ¿ah? ¿eh? An unicorn. A pesar de que la regla dice que en los artículos A y an, ¿verdad? A ah, va antes de... Come on, consonant y an antes de vowel. Ok, good. Esas son las únicas excepciones. Ok, the you. So, identify the specific learning needs as Yolman was reading, goals and challenges of the participants and the organizations. In other words, how to customize your training. What do you need? I mean, what does your company need, right? In reality, because I'm not going to teach um, a group of secretaries uh, about electricity, right? That doesn't match. It doesn't make sense. Number two, curriculum designed. Hector, have you read, Hector? Yeah, teacher, I'm here. Have you read? Did no. you read? No, you haven't read, right? Okay, curriculum design. Curriculum design. Design and customize curriculum that is relevant. Uh, difficult. Engaging. Yes. Engaging and align. Good. With the learning objective and con. Ah. Con. Ah. Just the way it is. Constraint. No. Oh, yes. Constraint. 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 Good. Constraint. That's a difficult word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Constraints. Restricciones. Oh my God. It's not restrictions. Constraints. A synonym for restrictions. Constraints. Okay. Good job. Thank you, Hector. Nice pronunciation. Customized. Relevant. Engaging. Aligned. Aligned. Good job. Okay. And lastly, delivery and evaluation. Evaluation. Lucy? Oh, sorry, I made you. Missy Natalie. Hi, teacher. Sorry, I was in mute. I was talking <laughs> alone. <laughs> okay, delivery and evaluation. Deliver the training using the appropriate methods, tools, and channels, and evaluate the effectiveness and impact of the training. Good job. Thank you. That was. Beautiful. Methods. This is, uh, for me, this was a difficult word when I was learning okay. yeah, methods, methodology. The TH is a Z. Okay. So, appropriate tools are very important, guys. I, sometimes I, I've been in trouble. I've been in trouble teaching. I have had situations where I took the projector to a class in the middle of the woods, I will say to a very far away little town and I didn't, I mean, I brought the projector and there was no electricity. So that was not appropriate, but anyways, it worked in the end. Uh, I'm gonna go 
uh, fast through this. This is very interesting, but we will apply it later too. The return of investment or ROI. Do you, have you heard about this on previous models on intermediate six or five? Do you remember about ROI? No, the ROI is no study. No? No, no, no. Okay, as the name says, return of investment in general terms is just getting your money back. The way it sounds, getting your investment, getting your money back. Uh, monetary return of investment, and this is like the general idea, the measurable and tangible financial benefits of the training program. So, okay, think, think about it measurable and tangible. I hope you get these terms. Tangible, you can touch it, right? Of the training program, including increased revenue. You know what is increased revenue? Like a profit. Excellent. Synonyms, thank you. Reduced costs, reduced costs and improved productivity. It's logical. I mean, if you are very well trained and you will give results and results on employees are reflected on money on the company on uh, long term and short term sometimes. Non-monetary return of investment. The intangible and non-measurable benefits of the training program, including improved skills, job satisfaction, in other words, engagement, and retention. Retention. Yes. Um, there is an amazing company in El Salvador, and I continue with the airlines. I'm sorry, but airlines are amazing for me my, from my point of view. Um, Ironman. I don't know if you have heard about him. It's an amazing company. I mean, anybody could, could I mean, we who wish to work there. I mean, if you speak English, that's like the dream job for a teacher because they hire teachers there as well. But as a technician, as an aviation technician, man, that's an amazing job. And they have huge retention. Retention means that they make people not wanting to leave their job. Do you think a pilot, uh, an airline pilot, loves their is, is his job or her job? Okay, I should change the, the topic, right? Maybe Messi, do you think Messi loves his job? Or Cristiano Ronaldo? Yeah, I think they love their job. I don't know who was this guy, this brown guy that they just, I, I'm not a, a soccer fan, guys, but I, I my brothers are soccer fans. I was never a sports fan, except, well, after Michael Jordan left the Bulls, you know, I, I became a illiterate on, on basketball. But do you think these people really love their job? And or they do it because of the money or because of you know passion. I don't know. What do you think? Both. <laughs> Both? <laughs> but why do they change from this team to another team? Because is Messi still playing with Barcelona? I don't know. Is he? Yes. No. Yes? No. No? In this in this in this moment the team yeah the team the United States. Ah. What is the name? Uh, uh the Miami. uniform is the, uh, I, right, right. Pink, Miami that, that's why I'm I'm yeah. asking. The yeah, uniform is the color pink. It is pink. Just say pink. Uh -huh. The uniform mm -hmm. is pink. What pink. what is it? United Arab is no, ¿Cómo es? Emiratos Árabes Unidos? No? Qatar? Yeah, for Qatar. He's playing for Qatar, right? No. No, 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 no. no. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm sorry. Miami Heat? No. Really? Qatar is uh, Ronaldo. Ronaldo played in Qatar, I think. 
So if they Portuguese. love if they love what they do, but they are not enga engaged with their job. This is so difficult, right? Uh, maybe the teacher, maybe it's uh, the thing uh, Al Nasar. Oh, okay. Al Nasar. Al Nasar. <laughs> I don't know. Al I don't know. Al Al Arsenal. Al Arsenal. Al Nars. <laughs> Wait, is it Arsenal or? No, no, no. no. Al Nasar. No, Erika no, knows. Erika Nasar. knows. Al Nasar. Al Nasar. Okay. I don't know about soccer. But, anyways, so my point is can you picture that? That's like me. I love teaching. And I can be teaching here at Inglés Corporativo, I can teach somewhere else. But I don't go for the money. That's my problem. Uh, I just stay where. I don't know. I just like English cooperativo. But this course, this program, I have been in. I universities. I'm just gonna say universities, other academies with this program. And the only thing that I didn't like is what you don't like. What you don't like, waiting for two months to start the next module, three months, oh my God. I mean, that's too much. And that, thank God, thank God, that doesn't happen here in English Corporativo. I'm not saying it because I work here. I have experienced it in 10 years. This is the continuation academy. I just call it that way. So I love my job. I could be, and the same happens with Messi, with, you know, with what, DiCaprio, with this guy, what's his name, Ronaldo? Okay. <laughs> what did I say? Wait. Yeah, with CR7, right? That, that's, yeah, that's what happened with them. They love what they do and they just go where they get better paid. Although that, I don't like that, you know, because loyalty is very important when you work. I don't know. I won't change for $0.5 million more. It's just five hundred thousand dollars. Come on, right, Ivan? Right. Okay. See, it's just money. Okay. Lastly, law. Well, that's non-monetary uh, return of investment. The person develops in trainings. You develop skills. You know what I developed during the last five years in call centers? My typing skills. My typing skills, I can type faster. I can, sometimes I'm typing and I'm not looking at the keyboard at all. And I'm like, oh my God, I did it. How, how did I do that? I don't know. I continue working. <laughs> it's not passion. It's just that you get so focused on what you're doing. That you just do it automatically, you know? So. Sorry, sorry, not passion, passion. Patience. Patience. Huh. Sorry. <laughs> remember, remember about Guns N' Roses when you think about that word. At the Seguro Social, you're patient. Yes. <laughs> patient. Patience. Anyways, long term return of investment. The lasting and sustainable impact of the training program on the organization's culture. Reputation. Reputation and future success. When there's a good training and the employees are very well trained, it's a cascade, you know. It's just a cascade. Everybody's training and trained. There's a point where you start asking your classmates, I mean, your coworkers, I'm sorry. Hey, did you get the training? Yeah. Yeah, that was a good, yeah. And the other one? No, I didn't like that. For example, me, every year in the other company, in the call center, they give us a training about uh, money laundry. Do you know what is money laundry? Erika knows. Uh, money laundry. How to to wash money, to laundry money. <laughs> okay, how to do money laundry. And I became an expert. I'm money laundering myself. No, I'm just kidding. No, don't erase that. Okay. But, teachers. Yeah. Teachers, No. They, they did it in Colombia lately, and, and it worked very well for them. Oh, no, 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 Venezuela. They were doing that. We can so, move to Guatemala, by the way. 
Yeah, I know. But the point is, the same training every year, every year. I don't take the training anymore. I just go answering the questions on the last quiz, you know, and that's it. So you learn in the end, even if you don't want to, you learn. And there's nothing better than experience. I can tell you that there's no training that will replace the experience that you can get. Lastly, let's go with some case studies and success stories. The first company, Challenge. They have a high employee turnover. What is a turnover? Man, you're going to love this word. Employee turnover, inventory turnover, stock of inventory. Stock of inventory turnover. No? Ivan. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a bad practice in the company. Employees turnover. Uh, what? The, the, the organization. Yeah. Hmm. You're looking at. Wait. Eso es muy importante. En todo este curso desde el, desde el avanzado 1 hasta el avanzado 6. Les decía, necesito que se imaginen. Dos escenarios siempre antes de darme una respuesta. Su punto de vista como empleado y su punto de vista como empleador. Ojo, usted es dueño de una empresa en estos módulos, ¿ok? Imagínese siempre que usted es dueño de una empresa. Si no lo han hecho en el intermedio, si no estuvieron conmigo, pero tienen esa empresa y también son empleados. Entonces, siempre los dos puntos de vista. Muy importante, ¿ok? So, what's your point of view, Ivan? Is it an employer or an employee? Uh, in the case the employees is uh, is not recommended. It's a bad practice. It's something bad for it, employees. It's a bad practice. Uh, uh, for the company, the the more cost. In the in the company, no no. It's not good. What is? It's not good. It's not good because um. Uh, the the process the process the 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 department or activities in the in the in the in the company is is long uh, okay. long efficiency long efficiency it's not efficient excuse me efficient long efficient it's not efficient not efficient 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 you got it it's not efficient yes it's not efficient not effective as well so, turnover. How many times something rotates? One, two, three. Your inventory rotates, right? The turnover. People live in the company. How many employees we're hiring versus how many employees we're missing? That's it. What was the solution for this company? To give a customized online training. The result? 60% reduction in turnover rate. So 60% out of the 100, not turning over, that was good. Call centers, they pay a hiring bonus. And the closer to Christmas, the higher the hiring bonus. Um, my company, the one that I work for, uh, was paying last year a thousand dollars for referral. So if I referred someone, I was getting five hundred dollars for each person that I referred. But the person getting the job was getting a thousand or twelve hundred, you know, twelve hundred, a thousand two hundred dollars just because of getting the job. And this the problem with this is that this thousand two hundred dollars were paid in in you know in three parts during the next three months. So in three months they paid you one thousand two hundred plus your salaries of these three months. That's a lot of money, right? But what if you don't like the job? In three months you didn't like the job. You got paid very well. Bye bye. Okay, that hurts a lot. Next, challenge, low customer satisfaction. Customers are not satisfied. Solution, 
hybrid training with role play. Just like in an English class. Okay, I'm the customer. Ring. Hello, thank you for calling English Corporativo. My name is Adriana. How may I help you? Uh, hi, Adriana. Um, I have a problem with my accent. I'm sorry, I cannot help you. That's bad customer service and so on, right? They start role playing, interacting as customer and employee. Um, let's see. The result, 95% increase in net promoter score. Okay, I'm running out of time. Uh, ¿Saben que son los KPIs? No. It's like uh, the the mission mission is the way the mission measure indicator is the way the mission uh, yeah indicators key performance indicators key performance the key like ya ve okay, key performance indicator performance indicators indicadores clave de 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 rendimiento so that's Eso es muy importante. Es, y es, esto es como una métrica de eso, ¿no? An increase in net promoter score. Cuando te portas bien en el trabajo y todo, y tú tratas bien a los clientes, eso puede ser una métrica que se puede aplicar a cualquier nivel, en industria o, o, o servicios. ¿Qué también estás haciendo tu trabajo? ¿Cómo está impactando tu trabajo a los clientes? Indirecta o directamente, ¿ok? Eh, vamos a hablar de eso, de los KPIs más adelante. Eh, el siguiente caso, the third case, low employee engagement. Los empleados no se sienten. Yo tenía esto en la aerolínea y les quiero comentar eso rápido. Eh, engagement, y por eso le decía a Erika, ¿no? ¿Qué tan engaged, qué tan comprometida te sentís con tu empresa? Porque yo, yo me sentía que amaba esa, esa aerolínea, pero ¿saben qué pasó al final? Éramos como 2.500 empleados. No es broma, 2.500. Pero el management eran personas que no eran normales <ríe> así lo voy a decir o sea eh, bueno había muchas personas que querían dominar el mundo y ya lo están haciendo de hecho están influenciando a los niños no sé, por ahí va el tema no el punto es de que se enfocaron mucho en, en la felicidad de ellos empezaron a robarle mía a los clientes de los viajeros frecuentes y todo esto salió a la luz y como no existía una ley de usura o como se diga robo eh, virtual, no sé cómo llamarlo, cibernético robo cibernético, no existía esa ley al final la aerolínea se fue y estaba a punto de hacer merge de unirse con Delta y se perdió todo un piso de producción, 2500 empleados para afuera man, yo lloré ese día chía porque era mi sueño, o sea, cinco años trabajando ahí. Yo no me fui, me quedé, me murieron otra cuenta, pero wow. Para la orina, estábamos a punto de ser empleados directos prácticamente. Entonces, ¿qué pasó ahí? Esto, el management, si el management no está engaged con la compañía, no existe el compromiso con la compañía, no se sienten parte de la compañía, eh, todo, todo se viene abajo. Los empleados no se van a sentir parte de la compañía. Y aquí viene algo muy importante. In-person mentorship programs. Estar encima de los empleados. Hey, ¿qué onda? ¿Cómo te sentís? Bien, súper bien, súper bien. Chivo. ¿Qué necesitas algo más? ¿Necesitas días libres? No sé. Eh, tomar menos llamadas. O atender menos clientes. ¿Te querés tomar el día? O sea, tratar a los empleados de esa manera. Crear un ambiente. Man. Darles eh, cosas de la empresa. Que tengan el branding de la empresa a los empleados. Y la clave de, no es Coca-Cola, es la otra empresa, que no me acuerdo cómo se llama, y trabaja uno de mis hermanos, y es como, no puede tomar una Coca, él tiene que tomar Pepsi. Ok, resultado, 40% increase in employee motivation. So, uf, terminamos la presentación, creo. Hope you liked it. Tonight. Yeah, me voy a hacer preguntas sobre lo que hemos visto, eh. Tonight, I'm staying with Daniel Antonio Luna. Where is Daniel Antonio? Did I stay with Daniel before? I can remember Erika, Jasmine, Martina Scarpio. We stood last time, I remember now. Um, Fatima Denise. Fatima, 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 Fatima. No. Yes. Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. There you are. Fatima, would you stay 10 minutes, please? 
Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. I'll see you tomorrow at the same time. Adriana, Jose, Serna Durán. Present. Good night. Daniel Antonio Luna. No. Okay. Erika, Jasmin, Martinez Carpio. Present. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Bye. Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. Present, teacher. Okay. Night, night. Ivan Petrovic Guzmán Aquino. Present. Thank you. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Good night. Jolman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Thank you. Good night. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Right here. Thank you. Good night, Lucy. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present. Thank you. Good night. Ruth Isela Joaquín Flores. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. She left. Okay. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Present. Thank you. Good night. Okay, guys. See you. Bye. Good night. Bye, bye. Good night, everyone. Fatima. Okay. Yes, teacher. Usually, since when I'm for the first time with a with a group, I start this one-on-one -on -one sessions um, by making. Hold on. Three simple questions. Uh, question number one, what has been your experience with English? You know, where have you been jumping or what's your journey? Um, during this journey of learning, have you identified, this is the second question, have you identified what is your main area of improvement? Like, is it speaking, listening, reading, or grammar? What is it? And the last question, what are you doing, Fatima? Other than the two hours of the class, what else are you doing to learn faster? Mm, and the first questions, I think um, the classes I help, we help. In my in my knowledge, and the second question I think is a little grammar uh, about a simple present and the past. And the other difficult is um to talk talk English. Speaking okay. The thing speaking that's is. difficult. Have why why do you think speaking is difficult for you? Have you experienced like talking to a, a gringo or someone you know? And yes. Getting, getting stuck? Yeah. And yes. Happen? And yes. And I am freezing. I froze. You froze. I froze. Wow. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's got to be difficult. Okay. And what are you doing? I mean, like. Seriously, are you doing anything to, to get better? Um, sorry, did you... Are you doing anything to, to improve? Like what homework or listening something, watching a series in English? <laughs> okay. I, I think I think listen, listen more the conversation. Okay. Pero qué conversaciones? Vamos a la parte del mentoring. <ríe> a ver. Eh, ¿qué, qué parte de, de um, no, eh, perdón. ¿Qué parte de de listening está haciendo? O sea, me refiero a qué está haciendo después de las dos horas de clase o aparte de estas dos horas de clase. ¿Qué más hace para aprender? Mm, una teacher anterior nos dijo que viéramos como películas de niños en inglés, porque es como un inglés más 
ah, para niños. Entonces, eso. Ok. Fíjese que a mí me pasó algo similar. Es que depende, yo creo que es cuestión de cada uno, la verdad. Y por eso, no sé si, no, no les he enviado ese video. Eh, hay un video de un profesor, no sé si gallego o ve español. Él se volvió un poco famoso porque salió en BBVA, en los, en estos, eh, estas ponencias que hacen como TED Talks, no sé si las ha visto, pero en España, en España, BBVA. Ah, pues, y se llama, bueno, él, él habla de cómo él aprendió de los niños a hacerse las preguntas de por qué me dice lo que me dice y por qué hace lo que hace. ¿Por qué la respuesta que me da el alumno no es la que yo tenía planeada para la clase? ¿Ya? Porque uno de profesor siempre se planea la clase y, y dice, espero, este va a ser el resultado de esta, de esta planeación, esto va a ser la meta, ¿sí? Que voy a obtener, lo que los alumnos me van a tener que responder es esto. Pero sin embargo, hasta en el lenguaje, en el aprendizaje de un idioma se da esto. Los alumnos nunca responden lo que uno espera. Y no se quedan. Muchos profesores se frustran. No sé si ha tenido el caso de tener algún profesor que se le ve la cara como que eso no se hace. No se hace eso. Y es difícil controlarlo a veces, pero ten, uno tiene que adaptarse a la mirada del alumno, a entender, entender por qué está diciendo lo que está diciendo. Muchas veces se da el caso de que es falla de uno. Uno cree con profesor en algo he fallado yo. Pero en realidad... Eh, va más allá, es un problema más neurológico que otra cosa eh, y se lo pongo como un ejemplo present simple tengo sujeto, verbo y complemento, fácil cuando voy al negativo present, ¿cómo es? sujeto la negativa, ¿verdad? el don't o el doesn't luego lo mismo, verbo y complemento pero al hacer esta tarea que yo les he puesto la dieta que yo les he puesto así los alumnos, lo primero que, y eso lo tengo comprobadísimo en los eh, niveles básicos, los que se aplican y ya llegan a, con su tarea, porque me pasaba en las clases presenciales, siempre lo primero que hacía era revisar los cuadernos, a ver, tarea, 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 revisé y los presionaba. Y llegaban, y mire, cabal, positivo, bien, negativo, y el verbo, I don't at the park, no corro en el parque. No en el parque. ¿Qué pasó? Ah, bueno, bueno. Y la pregunta, ¿Do I run in the park? Pero siempre la negativa faltaba el verbo. Era algo tan común en los primeros días de, de, de hacer la tarea. Y llegué a la conclusión de que lo que ocurre, son dos cosas, ¿no? La mayoría de veces, el 90% de lo que pensamos es negativo, ¿sí o no? Todo lo que nos han enseñado, ¿eh? y se nos va quedando es nomás lo negativo que lo positivo, ¿sí o no? Entonces... Pienso que por ahí va la cosa. Y la otra es que el cerebro se presiona a no olvidar estructuras. Entonces, como tiene que recordar que ve el don't en medio, dice, ah, el, el verbo es igual. Pues, y de verdad, ocurre eso. Entonces, um, ahí va la cosa. Por ahí va la cosa. Hay que entender cómo piensan los alumnos para poder corregir esa, esas situaciones. En cuanto a la gramática, ese método a mí me ha funcionado mucho. Y porque es algo repetitivo. Si se hace bien, funciona. Eh, ahora, lo que les comentaba al principio de la clase, me encontré una, una chica en la parada de buses cuando venía con los niños, porque estoy yendo en bus a traerlos al colegio. Y me puse a platicar con ella porque noté de dónde venía. ¿Y qué tal? Me dice, ah, bueno, yo quería buscar información ¿no? sobre cómo estaban las cosas ahí. Y le digo, todavía ocupan un librito para hacer las tareas. Yo nunca lo sé, me dijo. Nunca me impresionaron para ocuparlo, pero es buenísimo, me dice. Me funcionó y no sé qué. Y yo, ok. Y en mi mente, yo lo hice. Un libro. <risa> me, robaron el, me robaron la idea y lo, lo hicieron un librito. Y ahí te lo dan de bienvenido. O sea, claro, hay que pagarlo aparte. Pero me quedé, o sea, todavía funciona. La cosa es aplicarse y hacer el esfuerzo, dar esa mía extra... Claro, esto es, sí se necesita, sí se necesita, porque eso sí también lo he visto. He tenido alumnos que han tenido una necesidad de aprender y se meten tanto en esto que vuelan aprendiendo. Eso es impresionante, muy impresionante. ¿Usted tiene la necesidad de aprender? Pues 
Hay que buscar yes. maneras. Hay que buscar maneras. Sí. Las series ayudan. Ah, y lo, el punto era, <ríe> perdón, el punto era, yo sí aprendí de, viendo Friends, por ejemplo. Eh, de hecho, ahorita la estoy viendo por rato también otra vez. Me gusta. O sea, al final uno decide qué es lo que le gusta. Y ojo, ojo, el cerebro está impotente que por medio del oído identifica y qué bonito habla esa persona. A mí me encantó la voz de Frank Sinatra, de Natalie Cole, de Nat King Cole, de los Beatles, o sea, cómo hablaban y todo. Y pues a eso me adapté, ¿no? Entonces les recomiendo eso. Adáptese a algo, diga. No sé si le gusta a Adele, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Cómo canta. Y se le entiende. Me gusta eh, de los lo Beatles. El la pronunciación, el, el, inglés, el inglés británico. Porque es más pronunciado. Uh -huh. eh, la mayoría de cosas que hablan, pero oírlos hablar, hablar normal como gente. <ríe> Yo no, no. no le hago. No, igual ahí les envío un link de conversaciones eh, para que pueda adaptar mejor eso. No sé, lo que les decía, cómo utilizarlo y cualquier cosa. Y estoy, me escribe si necesito algún tipo o algo una cosa que le puedo ayudar y yo siempre le digo a los alumnos el 10% lo hace si usted dice bueno yo me voy a meter en eso de verdad y ese teacher me quiere ayudar va mándeme un audio de 30 segundos no más de 30 segundos contestando cualquier pregunta por ejemplo el presente simple what do you do every day o sea una pregunta sencilla no y la puedes escribir practicarla y cuando se sienta confianza que es lo más importante se graba 30 segundos me lo envía y yo le envío el feedback. ¿Ok? Ok. That's really good. Ok. Good night, Fatima. Thank you. Good It's night. Bye-bye.